Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. A lot of things are changing in the parks and it looks like we're getting back to normal. One of the things that are changing that doesn't get talked about a lot is the fact that we can now bring drinks and food items in the queues with us. And that's amazing because it makes the wait time go by faster. So we're here at Epcot and we're gonna ride some rides, drink some drinks, eat some food, and just have a beautiful day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I think I'm gonna probably head straight back to World Showcase. Oh, but there's Goofy. <laughs> Look at that. What a surprise. Oh, wow, fancy. <laughs> Isn't it amazing when a wild goof appears like that? I love Goofy. He is one of my favorite characters to interact with. And like I was saying, I was gonna head into World Showcase because I wanna go over to Frozen, see what the wait time is, and maybe grab a coffee or a beer and hop in line and maybe take a ride on Frozen. I can't believe fireworks are going to be returning next week. Oh, wow. Next week is going to be July. And I'm excited to see Epcot forever again and happily ever after. It's so amazing how things are just getting right back to normal, like I said. It's so crazy to think how things have been progressing. We went from no mask outside to no mask at all to fireworks returning. And pretty soon, hopefully fast passes will be back i mean that would be amazing i would feel so happy i mean i don't know i think there's mixed feelings about the fast passes people think them being away makes the wait times uh go down a lot but i'll take my three fast passes a day i don't mind that at all pretty soon flower and garden festival is going to end and food and wine is going to start and i'm just so excited for july there are so many amazing things happening in july it's going to be such an amazing month it looks like the line for Frozen Ever After is 45 minutes for the wait. That's not too bad. Like, wow, I was expecting like an hour wait. But from the way the line looks, it looks like it's a lot longer. 45 minutes, though. I'll take that. We're probably going to have to head on over to China and get in line. But first, we're going to grab ourselves a drink. And since we're going to be queuing up in China to get in line to ride Frozen in Norway, maybe I'll grab myself a nice little Sing Sao. I haven't had one of those in a while. I always like to run back to the house of good fortune to get my beer because normally it's colder back here and there's no line. And plus you kind of grab your own. We got some good old Sing Sao right here and then Lucky Buddha up there. I always go with the Sing Sao. And now we're in line for Frozen. So cheers! I'm telling you, this really does make the line go by so much quicker. Everybody loves line beers. I mean, it's kind of like a staple before everything got all crazy. Before you hop in line, you either grab a beer or, like I said, even a coffee. And uh, you just drink it while you wait. Now I'm about to head inside the actual queue. And I ran into some friends. So it, it makes it even better. You have drinks in line and then you meet friends in line. I like it. The funny thing is, is I didn't even get the chance to finish my, like I finished my beer before I got in line. So I guess we're done here. Oh no, they closed Frozen. Oh no. <laughs> they even shut the doors, we're locked in. Look at that. Holy moly. Closed. Please continue walking forward. Any host or hostess will assist you. We're sorry for the inconvenience, and we ask that you check back later in the day to see if we are operating. Thank you. Oh, yeah. The good thing is, because the ride went down, it looks like we're going to get a, a fast pass. We're going to get a multi experience pass so that we can either use to come back here or somewhere else. There we are. You go through? Nice. Champion, thank you. <laughs> Technically, if we wait here for a little bit, Frozen reopens, then we can ride with no wait and then still have the fast pass. And I think that would be amazing, but there's no saying how long Frozen will be down for. So maybe I'm going to grab something to eat at the bakery and uh, just wait a little bit. I don't know. I think that sounds like a good plan. And since I'm here in Norway, I think I'll stop and maybe get something to eat and drink at the bakery here. This is what I ended up getting. Looks like we got some rice cream and then we got this cake. And they said that this cake is like a uh, vanilla custard with almond and kind of like angel food cake, they said. And then also a nice little iced coffee. And we'll just sit here and wait and see if it opens back up. I think I'm going to try the cake first because this looks so good, actually. And I do love custard. Oh, it's a little crispy. That was a little unexpected. 
I also like almond. Oh boy, okay. This is gonna be a little tricky, but we're going for it. Maybe I have to lean in. Wow, just take a look at that. So delicious. And it's weird because the frosting is kind of like, it's hard, it's not frosting. I don't know what that is. The frosting kind of has like a Lucky Charm marshmallow texture to it. Like if you ever eat in Lucky Charms marshmallows, that's how the frosting is. So I should have asked him, but I like it. It's very good. Now I'm gonna dive into the rice cream, which is gluten free, by the way. This is not something you should be eating with a fork though. So we're gonna have to scoop it out a little bit. I tried to get a spoon, but they don't have any spoons. They only had a fork and knife, so we're gonna fork it. Oh, that's good too. Wow. And that bakery is amazing. They always have such great desserts. Now I'm just gonna sit back, enjoy my iced coffee. We'll give it probably about maybe a half an hour, maybe an hour, and see if Frozen opens back up. I mean, who knows? They said they're assessing the situation, so I got time. And just like that, we are going in. See, that's really awesome. Now we waited and the ride opened back up, so it's basically gonna be a walk on from here, and we still have our fast pass. It's a win win. I guess it's just like they say good things happen to people who wait. And look at that, we're going right in. Here it comes. So that was super amazing. Now I have my fast pass still that I can use for test track. And all I did was wait outside the ride. It was only down for uh, probably under 30 minutes. And I got to sit there and eat some nice items from the bakery and drink an iced coffee and then let it reopen again and walked right on. So it, it really worked out for the best. Now we can go ride whatever ride we want to at our own time as long as we use that fast pass before 10 o'clock tonight. I mean, I think I'm definitely going to use it for test track. No other lines are as long as test track. I just looked and it's a 75 minute wait. So I might wait a little bit and that way when I use the fast pass it'll be much quicker. 
now I think I'm gonna head on over to the land and get something to eat from Seasons and then maybe ride the land. Well, first, we're gonna see if they have any vegetables from the land at Seasons because they used to serve like a succotash with all ingredients that were harvested in the attraction itself. And I thought it would be fancy to come to Epcot and eat some vegetables from the attraction. You know what I mean. If you know, you know, but I'm excited just to get out of the sun for a little bit. It is a scorcher today. So hot and for the first time in a while, no rain. Like it's been raining here in Florida every single day and it looks like there's going to be no rain today. Not a rainy cloud in sight. It feels so good to get out of the heat. It's so nice and AC'd in here. Oh man, I'm telling you, like I said, it's a hot day. But like I'd rather be anywhere else on the planet than be here. You know what I mean? On a hot day, I'm happy in uh, Disney. Like it's just hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. It looks like living with the land is like a walk on. It says 10 minutes, but doesn't look like much of a line there. And also, seasons might be all the way open. I think we're just gonna hop right on the land first. I wanted to ride this ride. Uh, for a while now since I actually last time I rode this I came to Epcot and I basically went through all the rides at Epcot that had a special smell to them and I love the land and it has a special smell to it so we're gonna ride this ride and then we're gonna get something to eat hopefully from this ride and of course we have to be going front row it's my favorite on this ride you get a clear picture of everything in front of you I even see some lightning happening <laughs> To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Look at those baby pineapples right there. Oh, aren't they the cutest? <laughs> I didn't realize it until right now, but this ride is so much better during the day. When you get this beautiful sunlight shining in here, it's so amazing. A peanut butter tree? I've never even heard of that. I love here in the water and just smelling all these amazing plants, celery, chives, rosemary, uh, all amazing. Some squash right here too. <laughs> that was a nice little ride on living with the land. And now, hopefully we can get some succotash and eat some, some of the uh, vegetables harvest from the land in the proper way, the safe way, and the allowed way. Also, it's good to point out the Seasons is doing walk-up ordering, so it's not mobile ordering only anymore. You can actually wait in line and place an order. I wasn't sure whether or not the succotash was still made from ingredients from the land, but I did ask a cast member and they said, yeah, it was. So it gets me so excited. Like I said, we're eating actual vegetables harvest from living with the land. That is the coolest thing ever. There it is, there's that succotash. I love this stuff, it's so good. It's got andouille sausage in it, and peppers and corn. It just mixed together so good. I found myself a nice little table, and I think I stumbled upon like a little hack here, or a little trick to a cheap meal. So I basically got three sides, and uh, I think the sides are $3 a piece, so $9, and wait to see the amount of food that I got. So I got two orders of succotash, and then one order of yellow rice, and I'm like, wow. Here is the succotash, and we got corn, peppers, sausage, everything in there, and I got two of them, and then one order of yellow rice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rice down first. Bada bing, look at that. Oh yeah, that's the way. And then we're gonna put our <laughs> succotash down. Oh wow. This is gonna be so delicious. Look at this. Nine dollars. What? 
a deal. I didn't know that I needed to get, um, I didn't know I was gonna get two sides of Succotash. I, I thought it was gonna be smaller portions. It looks like you only need one, but wow. So like for $6, if you only got two sides, you'd get a very good, decent sized meal. I think this is gonna be an amazing combination right here. Oh yeah. I don't even know where to eat all of this, but that is a lot of food for the price you're paying. Here we go. Absolutely amazing. Definitely a little kick though, a little bit spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, you probably won't like it, but wow. I love it. <laughs> also, if you did want to eat some other leafy greens from the land, you can get dinner reservations at the Garden Grill because I believe their salad is from the land. But this is really good. It must be the peppers. Like I'm, I'm betting the peppers are probably the things that are from the land. I don't think the corn is, but regardless, absolutely amazing. Now that we had our succotash, it's time to head to Test Track. And we're taking the escalator. We're going all the way up. I'm also very excited that we're not gonna have to wait in line for Test Track. We're gonna be able to just walk right in using Fast Pass. Hey friends, how are ya? That's gonna be so fun. I am so happy we're not gonna have to wait in line. Holy moly. The single rider line is open and that is a 20 minute wait. And then the standby line is 65 minutes. Wow, right? Single rider line, but we're going fast, fast. Oh, this side. There we go. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so much fun. How cool is that? So, number one, the single rider line is open. It's at 20 minutes. 65 for standby. I'm in the fast pass line. This takes me into the build a car section. So, if you do single rider, you can't really build a car. I don't think they have those kiosks open. No, they don't. But Honestly, if you don't want to build a car, you can walk right through and skip the line. Like, you can just go right out the doors and you will save yourself probably an additional 10 to 20 minutes. I always let them know that I'm not going to build a car so that way they don't assign me a number and it doesn't hold somebody up. So they just told me to stay in here and to walk through whenever I get in there. Building the car is kind of important if you've never done it before. But if you've done it before and you just want to ride, it saves you a lot of time. Right through. School the guys, school the guys. School the guys. That's alright. Sorry. Then. So we just came out of those doors right there. And when we get up here, I'm gonna show you all the people that would have been in the line before us and you'll see what I'm talking about where you could save a long time we would have been just coming out that door right now and take a look at that that is crazy isn't it but also like I said you're sacrificing not building the car so I mean if you've never done it before like I said it's definitely worth building the car or if you generally just like building the car then you build the car no matter what they'll always ask first you know what I mean because like I feel like that's common courtesy because if you don't ask first and they assign you a spot that's one less person that's not getting in there so I don't want to hold up the line anymore and now I'm just kind of going right through it look at this we're all kind of just stuck here and where I was showing you before everyone's just waiting there so crazy I thought that I planned this right but what I should have done is I should have walked on the frozen and then used the single rider line here because that was probably not even 20 minutes and then use my fast pass for soaring but I guess uh, we'll just take what we got it's still amazing no matter what
new design is pulled up. Commencing SIM car off for a street weather absolutely love riding test track and it's a good way to cool off I always say that when you get out there and you start speeding up literally you're just like ah. now I think I'm gonna head on through mouse gear and see if they got any fancy new things maybe we can buy I know that there's one thing that a lot of people have been sending me uh, pictures of so I don't know if they sell it here or at Magic Kingdom it would make sense that it's sold at Magic Kingdom but you never know mouse gears can always get some of the best things it looks like the one item I was looking for is not here and I asked the cast member and they said they were sold out but they had paging Mr. Morrow water thermos and I was really wanting to get one and uh, they checked the whole system and they said it's sold out everywhere they're probably going to restock though so I'll keep an eye out I was kind of like wondering if I would be able to find one even at Epcot but they were sold here they were sold everywhere so like I said we'll keep an eye out it doesn't mean I'm going to leave here empty handed because I did get something really fancy I peeked something from the corner of my eye and take a look at this it's a Cruella Magic Band. Now, I got super excited and kind of impulse like bought it because it's Cruella and I see all the spots and you know I love Dalmatians, I love Gracie. But I have some sad, sad news. There's no spots on the Magic Band. Look it. I thought it was going to be a Dalmatian Magic Band and it's lipstick. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Corella in lipstick, but I was really looking forward to some spots. Oh well, it's still a really nice thing to add to my collection, and it's limited edition 1500. Still very fancy. Anywho's with that, I think I'm done here today. What a fabulous day. I, you know, I love when days go like this. I had no idea it was going to end up like this. I thought I was going to come here and make a video showing you how you can eat and drink in the line, but it like got so different <laughs> everything got different at frozen once i got evacuated out of the queue there got the fast pass and then ended up riding it again anyway and then the land and it, it just it all went together good i hope you liked the video i enjoyed the day so uh yeah we'll see you next time bye